So city council didn't fund it. They failed to engage the province, okay? And Calgary Airport Authority has been ambivalent at best about this project. They don't particularly care. We don't know how much the airport tunnel costs. This is sort of the shocking thing. Such a big project, and the city has never attempted to actually cost it properly. So the number the city uses a lot is $500 million. And you're going to hear that number from Alderman Hawksworth. They will double the amount of city-sustained debt. What he's not saying is that that $500 million is actually the cost of the entire Northeast Calgary road network. It's like saying the interchange at Crowchild Trail in Stoney is cost $2.5 billion because that's the cost of the whole ring road. And it, it's just, it's completely nonsensical. Further, as I mentioned before, if he flips over the page on the report he keeps quoting from, it talks about how the cost of doing nothing is $350 million. And how, and that's NPD by the way, so that's today's money. And how the city already has $350 million in budget. So even if you take that giant $500 million cost, which comes from nowhere, and you subtract the 350 for the cost of doing nothing, that leaves you with 150. Okay, so our real problem is we've got to fill that gap. So we are actually going to have to borrow against that cash flow. I've asked the province if we can do that. They said fine. The city can borrow at very cheap rates. So the total interest cost is going to be about 15 million. Now the rates went up a little bit this week since I did that calculation, so it might be more like 17 million. Okay. Um, so, the other good news is we can use the principal to pay the interest. I know that sounds crazy. But 150 plus 17, 167, right? We've got 173. We even have 5 million left for innovation, whatever that means. Um, so, at the end of the day, it'll allow us to delay those, that other $350 million or defer it completely. Uh, so it just makes sense. It makes a ton of sense to do it. So we need to go forward. We need to make the investment. So back to my first three questions. Do we need it? Yes. Can we afford it? Yes. How do we end up in this situation? Bad politics. We need to support better technology. HOV lanes, lane reversals, better traffic light synchronization, network efficiencies throughout the existing road network. And in particular, uh, my plan is to ask the transportation engineers at, uh, in Calgary City Council to focus on four particular choke points. 14th Street Southwest, Crowchild Trail between 24th Avenue and Bow Trail, McLeod Trail south of Anderson Road, um, and the one, that, the one that's really easy is Deerfoot and Glen. Here, there's a whole new neighborhood being built. It's, it's under construction at the moment. You can buy a house in it now. Um, and their only egress is here. Right? So you have a whole different set of traffic problems that you don't have when you connect to Stone and Deerfoot because this is mostly through traffic as opposed to people who are needing to turn left or right. Are you saying that having the tunnel there will diffuse traffic and spread it well enough that you won't need either of those interchanges right away? Yeah, that's right. Um, that's exactly right. That's exactly what I'm saying. Um, and in the long-term plans, as I understand them, is that as this becomes a preferred mode of access, Right, this one will be needed eventually, and we'll be able to manage down the, um, the volumes on Country Hills Boulevard so it becomes more like a retail high street. The city of Calgary, of course, has this big model, the big transportation model. Do you know if there's been work done with comparing the outcomes of the alternatives of building and not building the airport tunnel on the traffic congestion? No, to get no, there hasn't been. This is actually really shocking. The airport did commission a study for ACOM, we're smart guys. Um, to look at this stuff. But it's just one of those things that doesn't pass the smell test uh -huh. because the ACOM report only goes to 2015. Okay. So the, the runway will barely be done in 2015 okay. and none of the um, growth in Northeast Calgary will have occurred by then. Mm -hmm. And it suggests that only 100 cars a day will end up on Deerfoot Trail. So 26,900 apparently will disappear into the ether, uh -huh. which I find a bit challenging.